Press. I am your host, Drew Duncan. Do not forget that Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram is all at Drew Duncan 83 Additionally, you can find the Full Court Press and our subsidiaries, basketball and football, on social media as well. Find me on YouTube, simply Drew Duncan. And when you share our post, use the hashtag, don't you dare touch that dial. Folks, I am super excited to have our next guest on the program. In addition to being a trainer in the National Guard, a little bit of modeling. She is also an MMA fighter. She is 1-0 in her pro career, but don't let the short career fool you. She currently holds the fastest KO in Invicta history record. Her name is Chantel Codes, originally out of Aletha by way of Leavenworth, and she's right here on the Full Court Press MMA. Chantel, thank you so much for joining the program. Yes, thanks for having me. You know, it was Mike Tyson who recently said in an interview that fighting is for people who don't have anything. Do you agree with that? Not really. I think, like I said, I I broke it down like people, like there's three different types of fighters, you know. You know, there's fighters who, it's like a release for them, you know, Mm. and there's like fighters for like a showboat, and Mm. there's fighters just like a way of life, you know. Like fighting really helped me. It really helps me just, uh, I guess, not even just shows me how to live life or how to control life or understand life, I guess. Mm. So, you know, I feel like I have everything because of fighting. (laughs) You know, I talked to Hoyce Gracie one time and he told me that in order to be a black belt under him, you can't drink, you can't smoke. It is about a way of life outside of the octagon. How did being an MMA fighter help you? Um, I think what brought me to, brought me to MMA was my low self-esteem, you know, it Mm. made me feel strong. But once I got, once I got to that point, it, then it kind of got, got to my head, make me feel like I was something. So I was that showboater. And then now it got to the point where winning and losing doesn't matter to me. Mm. It's just my way of life. Like, I dedicate everything to it. Like, you know, I don't smoke, I don't drink, you know. I try to stay disciplined in weight, like food, all things. <laughs> like, it's my lifestyle now, you know? <laughs> my heart is, but it's my lifestyle. Well, and see, and that's the thing about being an athlete, Chantel, and that's one of the things that I talked about yesterday on my program. And, and I said that I think if you were to ask any athlete, what is the most difficult part about their career? And that is balancing being an athlete because you have to give everything to it and your life with your friends and your family as well. Would you attest to that? Oh, yes. That's the hardest part. The hardest part is the balance of it. But that's anything in life that you do, right? Mm. Balance is always the hardest thing. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, just, it, you know... The struggles and the things that I deal with during my fighting career is the same thing that will help me get through life. Mm. It's like it's my work, you know. We're talking to Chantel Coates right here on the Full Court Press MMA. I am your host, Drew Duncan. Uh, let's get to your fight at Invicta. Um, it appeared to me that she was trying to keep the distance with some leg kicks. Uh, you were able to kind of bully fight your way in. Uh, she tried to grapple you, and your hands were just a little too quick for her. And then, of course, at the end, she met your power. Would that be a correct assessment to you, Chantel? Yes, that was correct. It was kind of a really fast fight. <laughs> you know, like, if you blinked, you missed it. <laughs> yeah, it was a fast fight, yeah. But... Mostly just to, I don't know, I think I, uh, I did a good job controlling my distance as well and pressing forward. I guess I a little bit want more of an angle of it. Mm. I want to work more on the angle, get more of the backside of her. Mm. I'll tell you this. You definitely have some of the fastest pair of hands that I've ever seen. And 
it's amazing to me because you are in the National Guard, and I've talked to people on this program who are MMA fighters and they're in the military, and it is so difficult for them to be able to progress in their MMA career because they have to do the military training and go on tour and uh, two weeks in, in California and be in disclosed areas. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's affected you at all. How are you able to stay with your MMA career and balance the military as well? Um, planning, 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 like mm. everything. So like, um, yeah, I just plan on it and, um, like not enough sleep. <laughs> so I just have to wake up earlier or sometimes go to sleep later, but I make sure I get it done. Like I, I think preparing for that fight, I was in my annual training in Colorado. So on my free times, I went, you know, cooking Ubers for all the way to different gyms and, you know, coming home all day in the fields. I go through the trails and I ran, I shadow box, I use everything inside it, you know, have the guys take me down or try to take me down. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and so I got back and I work, I'm in a cell artillery, so it's a lot of heavy equipment that I have to move to help out. Mm. So, you know. That gave me a lot of strength training. How has that affected you in terms of your weight class where you fight at and cutting weight? Because obviously you're putting on a lot more muscle when you're moving around that heavy equipment, or do you feel it's giving you advantage with your power? Um, it gave me advantage with the power because it helps me to know what muscle to engage. Mm. So I'm really big on form. So, you know, sometimes people just like arm punch or arm arm hitters, you know, just moving the arms. I really learned how to engage my traps, which really helps me pull my punches back faster mm. and not get, not as get as tired, you know? So I know how to use my body as whole instead of just one at a time, one thing at a time. So I think it, that's how weight training or heavy lifting really has helped me with it. And I, as you can, like you said, I'm a very fast person, so that kind of helps slow it down, more control, more focus for me. We're talking to Chantel Coates right here on the Full Court Press MMA. Uh, we've talked about it already. In addition to being in the military, in addition to being a fighter, you're also a trainer. Matter of fact, Austin Ford, who was the MMA Topics.net Trainer of the Year, told me that you were one of the best trainers and not just the Midwest, potentially the U.S. What do you love most about the training aspect of what you do? Uh, what I love most about it is um, helping people um, change the emotion by using the emotion. Mm. Really focus on, you know, uh, what they need to correct. And I'm really big on form and fixing that and uh, really congratulating that progress that they see and seeing the change in them, not just mentally but physically. Like, I train a lot of youth. So I have like I train like cheerleaders, gymnastics. I was a gymnastics instructor, so I train in all kinds of ways. And it's just I mostly just fixing their form and their posture. Really, just change how they feel about themselves, and it's like crazy. I just love seeing them just progress in life. It just really makes me feel good. Chantel, I think here's an easier question: What don't you do? <laughs> I mean, seriously. I know, right? <laughs> I know, right, exactly. I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, I'm thinking about the day that I have ahead of me. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to get five hours tonight. You, on the other hand, oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. How do you stay so focused? I have to know. You know, I had to take, I had to start taking time out for myself just to make sure I, uh, I stay focused and plan and make sure I stay on task. Right. Not, I'll keep saying yes to everything. But I did have to cut a lot of things out. You know, so because, you know, sometimes if you're like everywhere, you're not really moving nowhere. Mm. So I make sure I have a plan and I make sure I stay focused on that, on that plan. Mm. I like that. I've never heard that before. That was very well said. And then, of course, the last thing I want to go with here is you, like a lot of fighters, not just lady fighters, but male fighters as well. Obviously, the physique is a side effect of your training. You've done a little bit of modeling. For life after MMA, is that something that you think maybe you would want to pursue? Do you like the training aspect? I mean, where does Chantel see herself for life after the MMA game, period, really? I want to be in WWE. 
<laughs> my girl. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, okay, so I, I, it's not polite to ask, so I'm not going to. My mama taught me to never ask a lady her age. I will say that I was 15 years old, roughly, when Stone Cold, Steve Austin was in his heyday, Sable, uh, Terry Reynolds, all yes, all that's those. Your day too. That's your day, too? All right. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yes. You know what? I'm going to tell Okay, see if you go with me on this. Now, hear me out, Chantel, okay? Um, I know a lot of people are upset with Ronda Rousey for what she said about the WWE being fake. But if you ask me, me, that is the most heel thing that anybody has ever done. You, yeah. Right. I can agree with you. I agree with you. Right? Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> they want her to be a heel, What's more heel than, than just going out there and, and doing what no other wrestler has ever directly done and said, this is fake. You know that, right? And I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, yeah. and I'm going to hurt you for real. Right? Nobody does that. Right. Okay. So what, what do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as a, as a heel or, or would you want to be a face? And for those who, who don't know, you're not familiar with the terms, a heel would be the bad guy. A face would be the good guy. Um. I don't know. I don't know. I think if if you see me as a bad guy, I don't think I can play that for you. <laughs> I'd probably be like a John Cena. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness! I can be myself. I'll be that nice person, but still badass. You know, I really want to be on it more for like the entertainment. Like I want to be doing like clips and jump. Like you know, I'm just very have a lot of energy, so I just <laughs> well do the rock bottom off the top. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Don't go Mick Foley on them. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Some type of character. Oh, fun. right. Hey, I, I got to tell you, it's always a big kid. Exactly. Well, and you know what? I don't think any of us who watched wrestling growing up didn't fantasize about being on there one day. Cause I know that I did. I have, yeah, right? yeah. I've always wanted to give somebody a stone cold stunner, man. That is like my lifelong dream. <laughs> right. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be seriously awesome. Uh, Chantel, as I do with all of my guests, I give them an opportunity to say whatever it is that's on their mind. There's no right or wrong answer here. The floor is 100% yours. Okay. Well, I just want to say thank you for having me on your show and thank you for like showing interest in me so I can uh, introduce myself to people who don't know me and people who do know me. Um, I could say hello again and, um, I want to thank God for, you know, giving me the ability to do all of this and thank you for my friends and my family and all my sponsors that who support me and everything that I do. So thank you. You're very welcome. All right, everybody. Her name is Chantel Coates, and she was right here on the Full Court Press MMA. Chantel, thank you once again for being on the program. It was a true, true treat to have you on. Yes, thank you, Drew. Thank you so much again. You're very welcome. All right, everybody, you know the deal. Don't forget to use the hashtag. Don't you dare touch that dial when you share this post. And as always, don't you dare touch that dial.